to You Deserve a Drink. I'm Mamrie Hart, and today we have a $10 haul, y'all. When you wanna go shopping, but the prices aren't dropping, just hit the dollar store, you stupid ass whore. Wait, what? Haul videos have always been a staple of YouTube. For some reason, y'all motherfuckers just like to see what other people like to buy. I don't understand it. For me, it just feels like a way where people show you how much money they have. Hot take, controversial, I know. So instead of showing you what my life can afford me and then rubbing it in your little, well-concealered faces, I do something called a $10 haul where I go to a dollar store with 10 bucks and buy as much weird or cool shit as I can. For this one in particular, I thought, why not a theme? We are about halfway through summer, and if you have not found your summer fling, I'm sorry, boo. You better make like Sandy D and get some summer lovin'. As we know from the end of Greece, all that means is throwing on a leather jacket, despite it being record temps across the world, getting a really bad perm, and taking up smoking. If you are hard up for a little nook nook in the summer, well then, all you gotta do is take a crisp $10 bill and go to the dollar store, because I went there and I got shit that could land you someone romantically in lickety split. Would you like to see what I mean? And I'm guessing you do because you're still watching this video. Here is my hot date $10 haul, y'all. First things first, you gotta find a date. You can't just go into a bar these days and find a man, and if you can, what? Secrets do you have? What kind of perfume do you wear? Is that fox urine? Other schmucks like me got an online date So you can download the app or you can go old school Especially if you're looking for an older fling and go into a really pervy chat room I'm not gonna risk carpal tunnel So I use a mouse which is why my first item from the dollar store is a mouse pad But not just any mouse pad. No what every home needs. It's a mouse pad with Armenian apricots I mean, I can't tell you how many times I wrote down like, go pick up an Armenian apricot mouse pad. Where are the apricots? Oh my God, are there people who are young enough that they don't know what a mouse is because they've only used touch pads? So once you've fired up that Armenian apricot mouse pad and found yourself a hot date, well you better get yourself ready. First hot date dollar store tip for you, don't underestimate the kids department which sounds worse than I mean it. For one dollar, I found this amazing kit that just, I gotta rip into it. I'm so excited. First of all, it's called Sealed With A Kiss, and it's from one of my favorite brands, Courtney's Corner. Look at this scrunchie. It has little kissy marks all over it. Now, I know myself that a very youthful, cute hairdo is just like a really high pony because it can trick people into thinking you're a few years younger. Oh yeah, with the Sealed With A Kiss? Oh my God, that's really good. Then you've got this adjustable they sprung for the Velcro visor that says sealed with a kiss. Hope your date is. Put that on there. You're gonna want a visor because your relationship's future is so bright and you'll need a little shade. Last but not least, we have this keychain slash flip phone. Oh, but it ain't a flip phone. It also isn't well made. First of all, he's like, is that a keychain? And then you're like, no, I mean, it is technically, but it's also other stuff. And he's like, oh, you're mysterious. So then you flip it open and he's like, are you really into vintage stuff? Because I can't believe you still have a phone that has T9. And then you're like, no bitch, I'm not in to vintage stuff or keychains. I'm in, don't film me now, Courtney. To smoochin. Also, this just broke. Inside here, there's a little mirror and there's also some different flavors of lip gloss. Sheer lilac, cyber lime. Ooh, that sounds like what I used to do in chat rooms. Aqua fantasy. Is this made for kids? Sentimental pink, blue ice, green envy, and sunbeam. I mean, take your pick. I think I'm gonna try a little cyber lime. Get in there. Just really. I probably shouldn't eat it though. Sorry, I have on makeup from a previous shoot. Tastes like underpaid workers. Now let's say things are going well and you're like, would you like to come over to my place? And you've always gotta like do this finger as if you're like scraping something. That's a sexy finger. You're gonna be like, would you like to come over to my place? And they're gonna be all, yeah. So then you're like, well, why don't we get in my car? I just got it cleaned. What in the car? You've gotta set the mood, okay? You're taking them back to your place. Luckily for me, this dollar store had some just gangbuster CDs. Get ready. First, <laughs> Saxy Fantasies. This is a real CD that I found in the motherfucking dollar store. I don't have a CD player in here, so let's cut to me going through a couple songs in my car. I just realized I don't even have a CD player in this car, so I have to wait for my boyfriend to get home to use his truck. Here we go. Saxy Fantasies. Where is it? Chip. 
Where is your damn city player? Found it. See, that's how young I am. I couldn't even figure out how to find it. Here we go. Not sexy enough. Let's do another. There it is, baby. <laughs> detailed again then boy do I have the CD for you I present let get wet <laughs> not let's get wet they did leave in the uh, apostrophe but this CD is just called let get wet oh yeah baby I'm horny just looking at it let's see about this splash zone <laughs> Okay, dry as a goddamn bone. Ooh, I like, I like. Okay, okay. Let's go, girl. Somebody called Juicy J because we're gonna have a flood watch on our hands. Now you've already found the fling. You've roped them in because of your hot new look. You've set the mood in your car with let get wet or sexy fantasies. You're bringing them home. So, for a dollar, I found something that'll rid my house of all those summer flies very fast. Yeah, this is not a tennis racket. This is a mother fucking fly swatter. One dollar! Whoa, I guess it could also be used for something else. So you got your house all ready to go. Maybe you say, would you like a drink? No problem. I found the sexiest glasses I could find. But what I like to do is I like to put a drink in this girl one with the nip, and then I give him the guy one with the uh, the pecs. And so we're sitting there, came through sipping, or, and just constantly being reminded of like what's under each other's clothes. Then you go, would you like to play a game now that we're all loosened up? Besides this motion, another one you gotta do a lot is this. You like start at your way, like thighs, you rub all the way up, your hands look like almost like they could be scared, but just all the way up. I don't wanna like lose my libido boner because we're playing goddamn like guess who or something and looking at all those dumb faces. No, that's okay. I found decks of cards with hot chicks on them. You're ready to get busy. You're all horned up, but you gotta make yourself a little more comfortable. First of all, nipple covers. <laughs> now I know these are usually used when you can't wear a bra to hide your nipples. I like to wear them on the outside because then he's like reminded of like, oh, bullseye, that's where the nips are. I mean, I'm not putting them exactly on my nipples because I don't need you guys fantasizing about me. Get them even too, unless you want to be a little mysterious. Okay, so you got your nipples. You take off the visor. Take out the scrunchie. Now your hair is down. You're ready for fun, but you need to brush it out a little bit. No problem. The last item has got you covered. I found a sexy leg comb. Uh, yep, that's what it's called. It's not just a sexy leg. Every one of the little tooths on this comb are another leg. I mean, turned upside down, it's a goddamn synchronized swim team doing one amazing move. So you're just like, oh, I'm combing my hair, but I'm also reminding you of how great my legs look. Also, here's my nipple covers. Also, ooh, remember what I look like underneath here? Also, let's get wet. All right, guys, so that's my $10 haul and advice to, you know, land yourself a last minute summer lovin'. I hope it was helpful. Remember, you don't have to go to Victoria's Secret and to Spencer's Gifts or other expensive places in the mall to get yourself ready for a diet. A date night. I mean, when did I become New Zealand or whatever the fuck that was? I'm sorry if that offended anyone from New Zealand. You just need 10 bucks and a little imagination. And especially these CDs. I kind of want to do a giveaway uh, because I'm in the mood for it from uh, this might get, oh, leg get wet, this might get. Whoa. Why don't you use your imagination and invent the name of a song and invent an artist who would sing said song and leave it in a comment below. The one that gets the most thumbs up 
including my own opinion, I will send you a message and I'll sign this, or not if you don't want me to, and send it your way. Bye. Also, one more quick thing. I'm going to be in Montreal for Just for Laughs. I am doing my one woman, one hour or more-ish show on July 26th and 28th. You can go to the website down below to get tickets. I'd love to see all of you. And once that air has been in there a long time.